So I just kind of feel like You know, everyone's heard like um, Ansel and Gretel, or The Little Red Riding Hood, or Rapunzel, of course, or Cinderella, to see the beauty of Snow White. So, I'm gonna read you some more obscure stories I've never even heard, because won't that be fun? Okay, this one, clearly I chose by the name, because I am totally not a five-year-old, is called The Cock's Funeral. <laughs> Once upon a time, a cock and a hen went to a nut mountain to gather nuts. Chickens really like nuts in these stories. And they promised each other that whoever found the first nut, it should be divided between them. Why though? Because you just get more? One day, the cock found a very large kernel, which he thought he should like to eat all by himself. But the kernel was so large that when he tried to swallow it, it stuck in his throat. And fearing that he should be choked, he screamed out so loud that the hen came running to see what was the matter. Water, water, water. Quick or I shall be choked, he cried. Away ran the hen as fast as she could spring. Spring, she cried. Pray give me some water. My husband has swallowed a kernel and he is choking. Go first to the bride answered the spring and asked her for a piece of red silk. Just like any bread. What bread? Who's the bride? The poor hen ran to the bride, obviously she knows, and said, dear bride, pray give me a piece of red silk for the spring. What the fuck does a spring want red silk for? I'm just saying it's real sus. Pray give me a piece of red silk for the spring that I may get some water for my husband who has swallowed a large nut kernel and will be choked. But he didn't share with you. So it, maybe he deserves it. The bride answered, run first. Somebody's choking, you guys. Two things. He should have shared. Uh, he should have gauged that he couldn't swallow said nut kernel. He's choking and this is taking forever. He's choking. Okay. The bread answered, run first and fetch me a reef, which hangs on the willow yonder. He's choking, you guys. He's just like, he's gonna be dead by the end of the story. Heard it here first. Then ran the hen to the willow and fetched the reef. The bread gave her the red silk, which she took to the spring and got some water at last, at last. But it was too late. I fucking told you. When she brought the water to the cock, she found him lying dead on the ground with the nut had choked him. I fucking told you. He was choking, you guy. Mm. The hen was in such distress that she gave a loud scream. She brought all the animals running into the great fright to see what was the matter. And there they all mourned for the cock and six mice offered to build a little carriage for the funeral. Oh yeah, I forgot what <laughs> it's called the cock's funeral, I guess. That's some foreshadowing. And when it was finished, they harnessed themselves to it and drew it to the grave, while the hen followed. On the way, they met a fox who asked where they were going. Going to bury my husband, replied the hen. May I go with you, asked the fox. <laughs> Seems a little intrusive. Yes, if you follow behind, for my little horses could not draw the carriage with you on it. So the fox placed himself behind and then came upon a wolf, a bear, a stag, and a lion, and many other beasts of the forest, and joined the procession. They had not gone far when they came to a brook. How are we to get over here, said the hen. Maybe you don't take fucking Noah's Ark with you. There was a stalk of stray lying in the brook, and it said talks. I'll place myself across from one side to the other and you can easily get over me. But when the six mice stepped on the bridge, it broke under them and they all fell in and were drowned. This was a new trouble, clearly. But presently a coal came by and said, 
I think I am big and strong enough to carry you over safely. So the coal placed himself in the water, but he had nothing to rest upon, and being too heavy to swim, he sank to the bottom and was drowned. At last, a large stone took compassion on them and laid itself across the stream from one side to the other. Over this, the hen drew her wagon with the dead husband upon it and landed it quite safely on the opposite shore. Sure. The rest of the procession wished to follow, so the empty carriage was sent back for them, but it was very small, and as they all crowded upon it at once, it upset, and they all fell into the water and drowned. No one saw that coming. The hen was therefore left alone with her dead husband. So. Oh my god, dark. The hen was therefore left alone with her dead husband, so she dug a grave and laid him in it and raised a mound over him. On this, she seated herself and grieved so much and so long that at length she died of grief. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course. That's the worst story. Everyone died. The end. Uh, what do we learn? Don't dilly dally when people are fucking choking. He was choking. Don't have time for your shit. Just give me the fucking water. I'll pay you later. Don't follow a funeral that you know nothing about. Bear and fox and other obscure Noah's Ark animals. Because uh, you might drown. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Apparently, in the medieval times, people would drown because they'd get too cold and their lyrics would close up and they couldn't get out because their dress was too heavy, wet. These are facts. Um, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, I think that's most of it. The most important lesson, tossing your rocks off in a bush is safer than choking a chicken in your hand. Anyway, we'll be back again soon for another one of these um, things. Um, subscribe and follow me and see my website and sign up for my email list and follow my social media, etc. Do all the fun things and like this video and comment if you have comments. I like comments.